So what happens if someone in your town decides, hey, I think our city should join with a nearby city? It sounds crazy, right? Well, it's happening in the western suburbs. It is. An anonymous person filed paperwork to combine Warrenville, Woodridge, and Lyle, all to join Naperville. We sent CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli out to the burbs to get to the bottom of it all. Welcome to Tranquil Downtown Lyle, where someone's reportedly trying to mix things up. This petition kind of has a lot of our residents up in arms. What's going on? What's going on is an effort to have Naperville, right next door, annex the smaller western suburb. I think that it was um, more of a political stunt than it was a legitimate uh, effort. Lyle's not alone. The annexation effort also includes the neighboring suburbs of Woodridge and Warrenville. None of the communities have voiced any interest in annexing to any of the other communities. But someone has come forward anonymously, which is allowed under Illinois law, collecting signatures and filing a petition to place the annexation question before voters on the April ballot. It seems to me, and I think everyone will agree, that we're all pretty efficient right now. The mayors of all four communities have come together, filing a formal court objection to the effort. Of the petitions that were filed, the majority of those petitions Petitions are names that don't match addresses in the village of Lyle. Attorneys are now challenging what seems to be a haphazard collection of 300 signatures that could be enough to move a referendum forward. Many signatures, they say, are questionable. These three pages are copies of each other. These two are just complete copies of the same document. What is the objective? What's the goal here? Uh, who's doing this and why? And the fact that the people are remaining anonymous uh, is questionable that in itself. Attorneys filed the petitions for the referendum on January 4th, and they repeated to me tonight that their client has asked to remain anonymous. And that only adds to the mystery, doesn't it? A judge is expected to review the petitions and objections later this month. In the newsroom, Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News. You know what's really interesting, Vince? The uh, petition's anonymous. The names on the petition are not anonymous. Those are names, but apparently a lot of them are bogus. So what's one to think here, right? That's right. And what could be the problem down the road is if there are enough verified signatures, which these mayors don't think there are, but if there were, there would have to be an effort that would cost money to educate the people of those communities about right. how they should vote on the referendum. Yeah, all very interesting. All right, Vince Gerasoli in the newsroom. Thank you.